Before you buy NBA 2K24, there are a couple things that you need to know so you don't waste your hard earned cash buying the wrong version of the game. So in today's video, we're going to go over which version of NBA 2K24 you should buy based off of your specific circumstances. We're going to go through every single hypothetical situation that you can imagine so you can be guaranteed to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck when buying 2K this season. All right, so we're going to break this whole video down into two separate sections. The first section we are going to talk about is all going to be about which version of the game you should buy. And later on, we're going to be talking about the new thing that 2K added into NBA 2K24, which are the pro pass and hall of fame pass. We're going to go over some of the potential rewards that you could get with those passes and whether it's going to be worth your dollar. With all that out of the way, man, let's get started with this video. Let's go. Okay. So we're going to start off with just talking about which versions of the game that you can buy. There are three versions that you can purchase the Kobe Bryant edition, black Mamba edition, and the 25th anniversary edition. Those are all listed in their pricing order. So with the Kobe Bryant edition, you're going to get the game for $70. And when when you do buy the Kobe Bryant edition of the game, and this is very important that you need to know, you can only get one version of the game. So if you buy the Kobe Bryant edition of the game, you're only going to get either the current gen or next gen version of the game and not both or old gen and new gen, however you want to call it. Now moving on to the Black Mamba edition, which is the next version of the game that you can purchase. The price of that game will be $100. And with this version of the game, you can get both the old gen and current gen versions of the game. You're also going to get 100,000 VC for an extra $30. And when it comes to the other rewards that are available, whether it's the my team or the park rewards, I genuinely think that they are not fully worth it, especially if you're just getting the black Mamba edition, just to get those extra rewards that you could get in my career or my team. I don't think they are worth it. Now, when it comes to getting the extra 100 K VC from buying the black Mamba edition, you're going to basically get that extra 100 K for $30 and you could get the 200 K VC for $50, which would be cheaper VC amounts per dollar or the 75 K VC for $20, which is $10 cheaper, but you only get 25,000 less VC. And then last, Lastly, we have the 25th anniversary edition. This is going to be the most expensive version of the game that's going to come in at a whopping $150 to buy. Now, this version of the game is going to come with everything from the previous version. So you're going to get both versions of the game. And then you're also going to get a 12 month NBA League Pass subscription. I do want to warn you guys, there are some mixed reviews when it comes to the League Pass because with the League Pass, many of the local games will be blocked out due to network rights and some of the local channels will be broadcasting it and blocking it out from other subscriptions. So if you're buying League Pass to watch your favorite team and you live in that area, you probably shouldn't buy League Pass or maybe buy a VPN, but I don't recommend you to do that. I'm just saying, just saying. And then lastly, with the 25th anniversary edition, you're also going to get 100 KVC, just like you would with the Black Mamba edition. And then like I stated with the Black Mamba edition, do not buy the extra version of the game for any park related or my team related content that you might find with these extra versions. Now that we've gone over pretty much every single thing that you can get from each version of the game, let's talk about which version you should buy. And with this section, I'm going to give you a couple of hypothetical situations that might apply to you that will help you figure out which version of the game that you want to buy. So let's say you are someone who has friends playing multiple versions of the game. I highly recommend you get the Black Mamba edition of the game, which is the cheapest version of the game that you can buy that will allow you to play both versions of the game, which include your old gen and new gen, current gen, next gen, whatever you want to call it. Now, there is another alternate solution here. If you have one friend that's staying behind and playing only current gen and they don't have a next gen console, you really like the bro for real, you can help them get a next gen console. Listen, NBA 2K20 24 next gen is going to be cross play. If you guys are on PS5 and he can't afford a PS5, you can get him an Xbox Series S for relatively cheap. Now, here's the important thing. This is what I said last year, and this is what I will say next year for NBA 2K25 because I already know how this is going to go. You are only going to play one version of the game, okay? So you're either playing just current gen or next gen throughout the entire year. I highly recommend you get just the Kobe Bryant edition, otherwise known as the standard edition, which is going to be $70. Now, again, it is totally 100% your personal preference. If you're somebody that really wants NBA League Pass, you can absolutely still buy the 25th anniversary edition. And maybe you're not somebody who's like 100% certain that they're only going to be playing one version of the game, then sure, be safe, get the Black Mamba edition. It's only an extra $30. And you do get a couple of nice rewards that go along with it, which are the 100K VC. But again, it's not worth it if you're going for just to get that extra VC because you could buy it in the store for cheaper rates. So now let's talk about these new passes that they've added for the seasonal rewards. You have two options, the Pro Pass and the Hall of Fame Pass. Before I give you guys my advice about how these seasonal passes are going to work and what I recommend you guys buy. I'm just going to quickly go over the rewards that you can get with each level of the pass. All right. So the first option is the pro pass, which is going to be $10, which will last for the remainder of that current season that you are in. And it allows you to get access to 40 additional earnable premium rewards. Basically, you can get your 40 rewards from each level that you hit with just the regular season rewards. And then if you buy the pro pass, you're going to have access to 40 additional rewards on top of that. So if you get you hit level 40 while also having the pro pass, you earn 80 separate 
rewards during that season. All right, so now let's move on to the Hall of Fame Pass, which is going to be $20. The Hall of Fame Pass is going to include everything that you can get in the Pro Pass, as well as a 15% XP booster applied during that entire season, as well as 10 level skips and one additional reward automatically applied. Now, before I get to whether or not you should buy the Pro or Hall of Fame Pass, I do want to talk about these level skips really quickly. I'm not entirely sure on how these level skips are going to work. Maybe it's something that you could pick and choose which levels you get to skip with those 10 level skips, or maybe you could skip levels 30 through 40, which would be your most optimal situation with that. Or maybe it's something along the lines where you only skip the first 10 levels of the season pass, which I mean, honestly, that's not even really worth it because the first 10 levels you could pretty much get in three, four part games or two to three rec games, as long as you win, of course. But now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Are these passes actually worth it? Maybe. <laughs> That's the best answer I could give you guys right now. But I will give you guys some pros and cons about these seasonal passes when it comes to whether or not you should buy them. The pros is that you can get a decent amount of earnable VC from the Pro Pass that you cannot get for the same price in the VC store. Because as you can see right here with the Pro Pass for season one, you're going to be able to get access to 45,000 earnable VC. And you can't even buy that amount of VC for $10, which is how much this Pro Pass costs in the store. However, there is a caveat to that. So sure, it is possible you can get 45k VC through completing the pro pass. But the question is with that is how long does it take to actually complete the pass? And are these quests that you're going to have to do in order to unlock that 45k VC even worth it? Only time is going to tell with that. And now the final two main points that will help you decide whether or not you should buy the pro pass or the hall of fame pass or neither. And the first one is, are the rewards good for that season? Okay. If the rewards are good, then maybe you should buy the pro pass or hall of fame pass or whatever you decide to do. The rewards are not good for that season or they're not good for multiple seasons save your money do not spend money on bad rewards you have the choice don't make the wrong choice and then lastly this is this is what moves on from question number one this is question number two do you have enough time to grind for those rewards without needing a boost from the hall of fame pass right because the hall of fame pass is going to give you that 15 percent xp boost to help you achieve all of those rewards from the pro pass but that's going to cost you an extra ten dollars so you have to make the choice about whether a you could put in enough time to grind out just the pro pass without any extra boost so you have to hit level 40 or b are you willing to spend the extra ten dollars per season to get the hall of fame pass to to help you get those rewards faster. Depending on how you answer that question is going to help you decide what you buy. That's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown on what you should and should not buy when it comes to NBA 2K24. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm out of breath. Um, it's uh five in the morning when I'm recording this. Uh, and my sleep schedule is kind of shocked. I'm not gonna lie, but hey, man, I gotta get y'all videos out. So bye.